Hey y'all, Caleb here. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can RDP into an AAD account, which is a mouthful. Um, so RDP is actually, uh, you're going to use remote desktop um, on your PC and AAD is Azure Active Directory. Um, also uh, Microsoft 365. So um, if you have uh, uh, you know, say like a, like an office laptop, uh, for instance, right? I'm working at home because of COVID. And so I have my regular PC and I'm having my office laptop and you have uh, multiple solutions for how you can connect to, um, to an office PC, right? Um, you can get a, a laptop dock or you could do a KVM switch or something along those lines. I found for me that the easiest option is just to do a remote desktop into it um, from my regular PC because um, I can use um, um, all of my monitors um, and it's really a, a pretty seamless um, workflow. Um, one thing to keep in mind, um, because we're talking about Azure Active Directory, if you want to use an Azure Active Directory account on Windows 10 as your login account, um, it has to be Windows 10 Pro. Um, and likewise, if you want to remote desktop into a PC, it also has to be Windows 10 Pro or higher, you know, enterprise uh, if, if you needed that. Um, and uh, Scott Hanselman actually has a, a really good blog post on this, which I'll, I'll make sure to, to link in the description. But um, remote desktop is great, but the actual functionality that you can tweak within the uh, GUI part of it is limited. And if you were just to try to um, put in your uh, the PC you're connecting to and your, your email address to log in, it's not going to work. It's going to fail. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to um, create a new RDP file. Um, and or take an existing one and uh, make sure that this following information is is in the file uh, your username and, and it needs to be exactly as you see here so dot backslash azure ad and then your your username uh, your email address and the domain it's associated with um, enable cred support set to zero and authentication level set to two so um, enable cred support um, this has to do with uh, uh, using a credential security support provider. Um, because we are doing zero, we're basically saying ignore it, even if it exists, um, because it's not something that we want to use in this case. And then authentication level. Uh, basically gives you um, several options. Um, uh, to find the, uh, the authentication settings for the server, right? Um, I find that uh, two is the most lenient or works works the best in this case, uh, as did Scott. So, so that's why we haven't set it to. So I'm going to update this with my uh, company Azure um, account. And we're going to save it. And then we're going to uh, open it up. And um, this part will be, be blurred out, but as you can see, it's got the dot Azure AD in front. Um, and the name of my computer is Advocate. Uh, um, now, of course, you can go and, and do a bunch of other things that, you, that actually are available through the GUI. But what we care about right now is uh, just getting logged in the first time. Okay, so we're going to um, to connect, and um, you see when it comes up, uh, and at least this is the case for me. Um, I I have my Microsoft account um, on my laptop as well as my uh, Azure AD account. If this is the first time you're coming in and you have another account, you're going to have to select other user. And there you will see your Azure AD info. And then you're going to type in your password. If I can get it right.
And um, I am now logged into my laptop. You can see that by by the, the bar on top, which says advocate. Now, um, if you're working on both your laptop and your personal PC or you're going back and forth, it can be hard uh, sometimes to get out of your remote desktop because once you're in it, it's going to uh, treat alt tab and um, uh, things of that nature as if you were on the laptop or PC itself. So how do you get out of it easily? And there's actually a, a keyboard combination um, that works and it's control alt home. And you see it popped up um, the connection bar, which basically is telling me that um, I am now on the remote desktop as an application on my main PC. And I use tiles so I can go from, from one desktop setting to another. Um, and so to get to another tile, you can do uh, control, window key, and then right. And as you can see, it takes us back to the uh, splash screen um, that we started out with. Um, and then if you do uh, control windows left, um, I'm now back inside of my uh, remote desktop session. Um, so we're gonna close that out. And, um, uh, this is a workflow that I found works really well for me. Um, uh, and, and it may work well for you too. Um, real quick, I want to show you how to set up tiles, right? So you have a uh, task view, um, and I'm calling tiles. You can call them desktop, tap, whatever, but you see, I already have several desktops set up. Um, and you can always just add a new desktop and then you can do, um, right. Uh, control windows and the arrow keys to move to one desktop or another. Okay. Well, I think that's going to do it for, uh, for this video. Uh, if you have any comments, um, uh, please leave them and I'll take a look and I hope y'all have a great day. Bye y'all.